I just so happened to pop in one of these William Dudley Pelly lectures, which uh, we had been uh, transferring from cassette at that time. We located about 40 hours of lectures that were originally done on reel-to-reel in the early 50s, and at that time you were uh, uh, transferring these over to CD. So I popped in one of these uh, Pelly CDs, and uh, having never heard of a fictional character materializing before, it just so happens that I read such a uh, account in your article, and then, having studied Pelly for 15 years and never having heard this anecdote, it just jumped up. Let's see if we can make that uh, yeah. play here. Yeah, go ahead and give that a shot, guys. William Dudley Pelly. One night, while writing my fourth novel, Golden Rubbish, I went out to spend the evening with an extremely capable psychical lady who could see thought forms with her naked eye. And there is such a thing which the Scotch call second sight. But during the course of the evening, she leaned across the table and whispered to me, Who's the pretty lady who seems to be following you about so closely? I wasn't aware of any such person and said so. Then my psycho friend turned my blood cold by listing a moment and then volunteering to me, she says her name is Louise Garland, and proceeded to describe her minutely as she appeared in the physical. Louise Garland was the name of the heroine of the story I was then writing day after day in my apartment down on West 53rd Street. According to the data which developed, I gathered the astounding impression that thinking of this imaginary story girl day after day over so long a period had given her literality in the astral immediately about me. To carry out the idea I'm trying to convey to you, suppose a mediumistic person had been present to cloak Louise Garland, my story heroine, with teleplasm, wouldn't I have created a literal woman to all intents and purposes in the flesh, at least temporarily? 